Hey there, what's up guys? This is Useless Mango, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys the second car added to GT Online along with the new Drop Zone Adversary Mode, the Bavado Banshee 900R. Now if you do go on to enjoy the video, then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you are new for more Grand Theft Auto 5 videos like this. With that said, let's get it started. Okay, so the Banshee is available to buy from both Legendary Motorsport and Benny's Original Motorworks. The car costs $105,000 and like the Sultan, you firstly buy it as the standard Banshee, then upgrade it to the Banshee 900R. Right, so the Sultan I believe costs $795,000 to upgrade. This is a bit cheaper, only $565,000, uh, which for me is barely pocket money. Um, so now it's upgraded, I can already see it looks a bit better, I think, yeah, it looks a bit wider now. Um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, it's a bit wider. I was going to say something and I forgot, so, um, yeah, it's wider, uh, on the front especially, and on the back axle as well. Uh, okay, so, yeah, let's max all this out, brakes, yep, right, so bumpers, um, so not as many as the, um, as the Sultan, but still a fair few, so we've got the carbon front one, bolt on, uh, bolt on arches, uh, yep, okay, uh, classic RS, Drift RS, GT bumper, oh god that sticks out a bit, and uh, Street SPL bumper. Uh, I think we'll go for that one, because it's it looks like a massive snow shovel. So yeah, we'll go for that one. So you can't customize the back one, um, unfortunately. Okay, so engine block, so you, oh, so the bonnet opens front this time, and there doesn't seem to actually be any hinges holding that on. That's always a good thing, so... Um, so we can either have primary covers, uh, secondary colors, uh, color covers, sorry, polished co covers, or carbon covers. So I think, like before, we'll go for the secondary color ones. Like Stunt brace. So now I do know what this is, unlike in the last video. <coughs> sorry about that, I got cold. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, these are pretty much just the same options as what you find in the uh, Karuma. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get a very good camera angle on them. So yeah, this is the best I can do. So we'll go through them again. So we've got polished carbon, medium polished, medium titanium, titanium, wide titanium, large polished sticker bomb, polished twin bar, extreme belay, I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, lightened racing, and that's it. So I think we'll go for that one to be honest. I think that looks the best with three bars going across. Right, so engine tunes, obviously we'll have to max that out. Right, exhaust, so we can either have dual exit, race exhaust, chrome tip, twin carbon, or cannons. Cannons. Okay, uh, explosive, nope, fenders, so okay. Right, so you can either remove the bolts, or the rivets as they're called, um, or you can turn the rear arches into carbon fiber arches. Um, I think we're going to leave that stock to be honest, I kind of like the rivet look. Okay, hood, okay, there's a fair few options here, so we'll go through them. So stock hood already has vents on it, uh, unlike a lot of cars, so... Um, okay, so vented hood, carbon hood, bolt on arches, yep. Uh, smooth hood, twin filter, so you can have those sticking out, so you can have twin filter with arches, exposed filters, exposed ram pipes, chrome filter hood, uh, that's it. So yeah, there's not as many options as what um, other cars might have, but there's still quite a lot. Uh, so I think we're going to go for... I think we'll go for the chrome filter hood horn, we'll leave that alone. So okay, so ornaments, like before, we'll go for that special Halloween one. Okay, dash. So yeah, this is uh, like before, it's uh, another racing type and the wind, the, obviously the rear view mirror changes, so we can have... Um, Street interior, which gives you some more dials and things, or takes away dials actually. Uh, flocked, dash, and stripped, so you get a little box over there. Um, carbon, no, 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 no. I don't like carbon. I don't. Well, I don't like the look of it in game. Um, so I think we shall go. I think we'll go for that one to be honest. Just one massive speedo in the middle. Okay. So doors. So we can have a carbon door cards, flock door cards, aluminium ones, or primary ones. So no option for secondary ones, um, unlike on the Sultan. So uh, I think we'll go for primary ones, to be honest. Right, so seats, 
Alright, so um, we can actually go into first person and get a decent angle on it this time, unlike before. Um, so I think there's the same ones as before, so obviously we've got the painted ones, the carbon ones, ballistic fibre, painted tuna, carbon tuna, ballistic fibre, tuna, painted bucket, carbon bucket, ballistic fibre bucket, paint track seats, carbon track seats, ballistic fibre track seats, or carbon race seats. I'm tempted to go for these ones to be honest, because uh, I think the red and black blend will go well on this we car. So that is what we will sh that's what we shall do. Um, can we get buttons on here again? Hopefully we can get many buttons. We'll go hashtag Ferrari style again. Yep, okay, so I think we'll go for Rally Clubman because it's darker. Um, and it's got the buttons, so we've got the buttons. So light colour, um, so I think we're going to go for like a red and black um, with this car. So I'll change this to red. Uh, maybe like a Torino red so it's a bit lighter, easier to see. Okay, so that covers that bit. So lights, uh, obviously we want Xenons. Uh, neon kits, I'm going to leave those off. I actually took them off, the Sultan, uh, off camera because I don't think the um, Neons look uh, nice like on mad cars, for example, like these. Um, I think they're more for high-end cars, but yeah, you, know, you guys might disagree with me, and if you do, then be sure to leave your opinion down in the comment section below. But by all means, let's go ahead. So um, we can either have the black 900R Power Stripe, which I can't see where that is. I'm presuming it's on, yeah, it's on the side, but because the car's black, we can't see it. So we can either have, then we can have a white one. Uh, okay, so we can have a stoplight racer graphics, a black flash. Does that look on the other side? So it's like, it's mirrored. Yellow flash, black two-tone, bravado uh, retro racing stripes, bravado racing drift camo. We'll go for that one, because obviously we're going to go for the red and black blend. Okay, uh, plates. Okay, unfortunately I can't have my custom license plate, it just says mango. Um, so yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. So primary colour, we're just going to keep it black. Secondary colour, we want as red. Um, let's have a look at the different shades. <coughs> I think we'll just keep it normal red. Okay, so that covers that bit. So roof, we can, oh, we can have it topless. Uh, I think we'll keep the roof on. Uh, okay, didn't want to do that. So, can we add mud flaps like before as these actual skirts like before? So, can either custom skirts, low skirts, street ones, sport skirts, or carbon skirts. So, there's no um, there's no mud flaps like there was on the Sultan, but to be honest, that doesn't actually look like there's any room for them. So, um, I think we'll go for... I think we'll go for the sport skirts because um, we managed to keep the livery on the side and it sticks out a little bit more. Uh, so now we're going to the spoiler, so we can either a high level one, mid level one, drift wing, high level GT wing, extreme downforce BGW, don't know what that means, or uh, tarmac attack wing. So that's like the um, the spoiler that you can find on the Verlier, or Verlier. Mm. Um, so we'll go for that one, yeah, I like that quite a bit. So suspension obviously on it lowered because it's a sports car, oh a tailgate. Oh. So you can have like, kind of in essence, two spoilers. That's pretty cool. So we can have smooth rear deck lid, bolt on ducktail deck lid, smoothed carbon deck lid, or full carbon, which we're not going to go for because I don't like the look of the carbon in this game. So we'll go for, we'll go for the second one because it sticks up the most. All right, so transmission on that full turbo, yes. Right, for the wheels, obviously because the Rockstar haven't actually added any new ones with these new cars, unfortunately, for the Benny's original ones, so we'll just go for some stock sports ones. So let's have a look through these. Okay, dokey. Um, this is always a long process when I'm choosing wheels. You can never get the fight, you can never get the ones you think suit it the most. I think we'll go for those ones. And I'm going to put them to red because obviously you can never have too much red. So you want custom tyres because obviously it's a sports car. Bulletproofs, I'll leave the tyre smoke alone. Windows, yes. And here we have the custom Banshee. So let's take it out for a, a spin. So yeah, you can see that front bumper just sticking off by 19 feet. Um, so yeah, let's open it up and have a look inside. 
Yep, looks pretty nice, I guess. You got a nice blend of black and red everywhere. Okay, so, um... Sounds a fair bit different. It sounds like the Banshee plus the Vernier put together. Um, but it definitely f it feels like a boat. It feels kind of like the Windsor and the Shafter, to be honest. Like, really, really heavy. Um, sounds pretty much the same as before. Maybe a bit deeper in terms of volume. Um, but I like those exhausts a lot. Um, but yeah. That is the new version of the Banshee. So yeah, with the new uh, customization options, like I said in the Sultan video, um, but with the new customization options, it just proves uh, what Rockstar can do to make the cars look like this. Uh, um, so yeah, it could be a taster of what we might see if they end up releasing the second wave of uh, Lowriders, which were leaked a fair while back, um, which are rumored to be coming out in February along with the Valentine's Day DLC. So uh, yeah, if that comes out, then... Um, that should be interesting. Anyway, if you did go on to enjoy the video, then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more GTA 5 videos like this. And as always, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video.